Hi, this is Richard Burm. In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between word art and font in Google Slides. So you can see here, I already have my Google Slides going. And let's just say I want to put in a little text box here. And I'll put in my text box. And this is a pretty standard uh, font that we're going to use now. We'll just go in and we can start writing. This is standard font. Now, of course, if I wanted to highlight it and make it a different size or make it a different uh, style altogether, I can go in here and maybe I'll, I want to use my lobster font. I am from Maine after all. Uh, or if I want to find even more fonts, I'll go to the more fonts menu and pull up that gallery and add those in. And you see now we have all these other fonts that we can browse through and we can use. Now I'll resize this box here. And one of the things that happens with standard fonts or just putting font into the slide is that if I decide to reposition this later, you'll see that the font itself never changes size. It just moves around a bunch. And so I can put it over there and now we're back to where we were before. The difference is that if I use word art, so we'll go to the insert menu and select word art and say, this is word art. So now there's, this is word art in word art. And if I click and drag and move it different sizes, you'll see that the word art just changes the font or the letters to still fit within that box. It doesn't create new lines. It just shrinks or expands as needed. Of course, I can also now further customize the word art. So if I wanted to go in and you know, let's say I want to make my word art line color a little different, I can make it red around the outside and I can make the line weight a little bit different. And if I want to fill it in I can, or I want to change the dots, I can do that. You know, I can do my, my fill. I can do a nice green background on it and I'll make those dots solid again. So that's the difference between word art and using just typical font inside Google Slides. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.